Riviera Tanker News. This is Brian Lewis with MMT Investing, and things just changed. So I want to have a look. Here's a here's a DHT double hauled VLCC huge tanker. This is the Bronco, which is one of their 2018 new boats. Let's see. Um, here is what's happening. We're looking at scrubbers which is the IMO, in my opinion, in my very humble opinion, the, the International Maritime Organization. This is part of the UN. The IMO 2020, which started in January, forces all of the, all of the tanker companies to pick a new way to burn fuel, which is they have to either choose clean fuel, like low sulfur fuel, or <laughs> distillates, uh, like different kind of mixed fuels, or if they want to still burn high sulfur fuel, they have to install scrubbers and clean the emissions of the high sulfur fuels. So here's a chart of all of our favorite tanker companies and what is happening and which companies are doing what kind of policies. This is the IMO 2020 strategies uh, cheat sheet that tells you what uh, yeah, what uh, what tanker companies are doing what <clears throat> with regards to scrubbers, <clears throat> and we can take a look at this and see if there's a pattern between which type of uh, policy they're choosing versus the stock charts that we've been seeing. So, American Shipping, let's see, Diamond S here, Capital Product Partners, Diamond S is one of the videos that I did, um, and they are all scrubbers, and their chart wasn't looking too good so far. And DHT, the double hull tankers, those are the big uh, VLCC tankers. And they are going with scrubbers. And their chart looks really, really aggressively good. And Euronav, Euronav uh, has a good chart as well. And they are doing everything. <laughs> they, they have declared that they are going to do compliance and maybe some scrubbers okay so that isn't too helpful frontline frontline is one of the big worldwide uh, crude companies and they are not only doing scrubbers but they are uh, doing a bunker joint venture with uh, trafagura which is for clean fuels so they're they're like joining scrubber manufacturers and joining uh, clean fuels and they declared scrubbers, but they're taking a huge stake in the company is actually providing those fuels, but it's not clear which one they're doing. And they have a pretty good chart. It wasn't as, it wasn't as bullish as some of the other ones like DHT or, um, or the Nordic tankers. Um, and then a lot of these companies are like bulk shipping and stuff. So I'm just looking at the tankers. So Navios Maritime Acquisition, that's a tanker company. And they are putting scrubbers on their newer vessels and not declaring what they're doing on older ones. Um, and they have had an okay chart. Nordic American Tankers is out a famously good chart and a wild CEO making a huge, a huge media mess. And they are doing compliant fuels, not doing scrubbers. So, so far it looks like the fuel policies that they've picked uh, are not really affecting their stock charts. And Scorpio. So Scorpio is, Scorpio is really, really aggressively doing scrubbers. And Scorpio is a big uh, product fleet. It's like the world's biggest product fleet. And they are, let's see. Yeah, they're really big on scrubbers and they're trying to get their boats ahead of the game. They've been losing money doing this. And they just recently had a really, really big bounce on the third, uh, the third up that we've had in this crash. So Scorpio is a really interesting one um, that I'll probably talk about some more because, because they have uh, upgraded their fleet and they have a huge fleet of product tankers and now the product tankers are getting used for crude storage. Um, so you might see a later 
rise in these product tanker companies. And uh, TK, what's it? Compliant fuels. Oh, okay. TNK, the TK tankers is, yeah, they're using distillate fuel. Okay, so that's like the third option, completely different. And their chart is super bullish. That's one of the top bullish charts from the very beginning. That's a huge, uh, a huge crude company that immediately did great. Top Ships is a tiny eco fleet uh, that's going with scrubbers. And they claim to be the cleanest, most ecological fleet ever and brand new boats and everything. And it says that they're only part fitted with scrubbers. <laughs> so I don't know how, how how eco their fleet is if they don't even have scrubbers. So, um, But they're going with scrubbers and their chart looks absolutely terrible. And they're mostly a product fleet and they have a huge debt burden. And I'm wondering if this one, it's a small, tiny new fleet of mostly product tankers and scrubbers. And they have done really poorly. And I wonder if they're gonna have a late spike because of converting all these product tankers to crude storage. And then Sakos, that's the Greek guys. And their chart is pretty good. It's, it's taking off a little bit later and they're retrofitting scrubbers. So I don't really see a pattern right now in the short term with the scrubbers or picking compliant fuels. And then the companies like um, like Nordic is making a big statement that installing scrubbers is terrible for financials. And um, pretty much all the companies are saying whichever the thing they chose is great for their company is basically the news that's coming out. Nordic says that scrubbers cost money and that compliant fuels is way better. And then DHT is coming out and saying they've saved so much money retrofitting with scrubbers. So whatever. I mean, it looks to me like the scrubbers are not that important. And most of these boats are not even moving around. They're just parked and they're full of fuel. So the, so the fuel for moving the boats around, I think, is a tiny part of the equation. And we're looking at the oil contango and the oil oversupply and what boats are available to store all this excess crude. And it seems like the companies that had the huge oil crude fleets, if they were specifically crude, they got a really early spike in their, in their stock. And if their product, they crashed a little bit with the crash, and then they're getting a late spike because uh, you can convert these product tankers into crude storage. That's the pattern. I don't think scrubbers, are making a big deal. I've seen a couple of comments about scrubbers and which scrubber fleets are the best and that sort of thing. And it doesn't really look like the scrubbers are factoring in too much. Um, but it does sound like all of the companies are complaining about the United Nations imposing <laughs> rules that are just annoying and, and they're difficult for the companies to find fuel. And it's, it's creating a just kind of like congestion and the fuel markets and they're having to do weird, weird things and make deals with companies to try to find fuel and adjust their fleets just to keep them operating normally. So please hit the like button to help me out with the YouTube algorithm. This is not investment advice. And there's the Bronco. <laughs> Happy trading.